Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle. Since we had the trailer raise for the three inches and I got bigger tires, which is actually a raise of four inches now, the stabilizer blocks aren't reaching the ground as level as they should be. So I got these trailer jack blocks, which are I think they're four inches taller. They're six six point three inches taller. So six feet. They're six inches taller from the ground up. So this should help the stabilizer jacks and also the the trailer the trailer jack in the front. These will hold up to 15,000 pounds the the red bucket and the yellow bucket they only hold up to 6,000 and the yellow bucket cracked on me <laughs> so 6,000 pounds is not enough as far as the the jack goes so I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more robust so this again will hold up to 15,000 pounds I got five of them and I'm putting stickers and they come like this. So you're supposed to put your hand, your fingers here and pull them out. I don't like that. So what I ended up doing is I got some rope that I got from Amazon. I don't remember how thick this is. I'll put the description down below. It's just a cloth rope and I made little handles for them so you tie one I, I've been putting these zip locks ties to hold it and then just one knot ah. so to create a handle And they're not that big the the jack or the snap pad I got another one for the jack the snap pad will actually fit in here with a lot of with a lot of space so snap pad will fit it's a good thing it's not always going to be square on, it might be here, it might be here, it actually might be like that. But this is this one's for the trailer jet. Okay, just follow along as I do this. Oh, and they do snap together to form one big taller but they do give you a warning that it if you do this it's only up to six thousand pounds what I've been doing is I've been putting Las Vegas stickers on it so I know that they're mine It's a half an inch thick and I got the 50 feet one so I should have enough for all five of them okay what I do at the end of the rope right here is I got a zip tie get a zip tie Cut it 
and then just tie a knot not too close to the end somewhere right there one knot is good then I measure 26 feet or I'm sorry 26 inches from the knot right there 26 inches and then I cut it this is the length of the handle that I like cinch it again with another one so it doesn't go loose pliers to just tie it down and wire cutters to cut it okay with the knot bring it through the hole then bring it back and then tie your other knot not too close to the end like that and there you have it that's one side done and then it goes right about here so let's do the other side get a zip tie cinch the end so it doesn't go loose Wires, you just tighten it in my hand. Wire cutters, tie your knot. Oh, got tangled. Okay, from the end, start a knot all the way, 26 inches. I tried 24 and I tried 25, a little too short. Well, first I tried 20, way too short. See, this right here is already half an inch. <laughs> and just tie one knot. That's it. <sighs> so both sides I can grab like that. Very nice. Okay, two more to go.